Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys and it's going to be a hair tutorial and it's going to be using the Conair wand. If you guys aren't fami familiar with this um, wand, I'm sure you guys have heard of it or see it. Um, I got this at Target, I want to say, and I think it was like around 20 to 30 or 40 dollars, somewhere around there. And um, it's basically a clampless curling iron. Um, and it does go up to 400 degrees, but I think I'm going to set it between 360 or 400 degrees for my hair. If you guys do not want a lot of um, heat on your hair, then you guys would set it lower if you guys wanted to. And yeah, so I'm going to be using this. And for this particular look, I would say that if you're doing layers, you would, um, you would benefit from the wand because I, I really like this look with layers because they do have layers and yeah so I don't know if it'll work if you guys all like have the same even hair all around but you guys can try it um I'm also going to be using my flat iron I don't know what the brand of this flat iron is because I've had it for several years probably since I was in middle school and I'm a senior now so about like five or six years um, you guys are going to need just to make thermal creations or a heat tamer, any kind of heat tamer. You guys are going to need a brush, a comb with a little pick at the bottom, and a clip or a hair tie. And um, the herbal uh, hair sperm, we use herbal essence as one. And um, it, did, it, did, it does come with a glove, but I'm not going to be using this glove. So it looks like this is just like a three finger glove. I'm not going to be using this, but if you guys are new with the wand, I would prefer it because I did use it um, when I was practicing. It would, um, if you guys are an expert at it and you guys have been practicing a lot and you don't need it, then um, don't use it. So I'm not going to use it. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's get started with this hair tutorial and I hope you guys like it. Okay, I look like a lion, but anywho, so you want to make sure that you sprayed your heat tame in your hair. I already did that and I already brushed my hair out. What I'm doing right now is I'm clipping up three-fourths of my hair and I'm leaving the bottom fourth of my hair down, which basically is my longest layers, and I'm going to do that first. The first thing I'm going to do is brush out my hair and make sure there's no knots or tangles. It just makes it easier on you when you go and do your hair. Um, now I'm straightening my roots. Basically, you won't do this if you have naturally straight hair, but I am doing it because it doesn't really look good with my roots having waves in it. So I'm just going to straighten that out. The reason why I don't straighten all of my hair is because basically for the fact that when I go and straighten all my hair, it won't hold the curl as much as I want it to. So that's what I like about my naturally wavy hair is that it does hold the curl very well. And I'm just, I'm just going to finish up and straightening my roots. Okay, so I have my curling iron set to 400, and what you want to do is you want to take a piece or a chunk of your hair, and you want to hold the curling iron down, and you want to just twirl your hair around it. Now, the reason why you want to hold your curling iron down instead of upward is because it does make it easier for you. And it does hold the hair on the clamp, on the wand, instead of it slipping off when you go and do it upward. So you just want to keep repeating the steps. And it does give you a really nice curl, which I really like. And I'm just holding it for about 10 seconds. And you also want to curl your hair maybe three-fourths of the way down. You don't want to curl the roots also because it just wouldn't look right when you're done curling it. And yeah, so you just want to keep curling it.
Okay, so I'm going to finish the last couple pieces of my hair. And then I'm going to flip my hair over. And I'm going to comb the front of my hair. Then I'm going to flip it back and I'm going to take my comb with the pick at the end. And I'm going to part my hair the way I usually part it. And then I'm going to finish curling some of the parts that I've missed. And then to fix the bangs, I'm going to take my straightener and I'm going to flip the ends of it. And this is how I normally style my hair if I'm curling it. So you guys can do it however you guys did it. And then I'm going to take my hairspray and I'm going to lift by the roots and then I'm going to spray the bottom. You don't want to spray on top of it because then it'll weigh it down and it won't give you that much volume. So yeah, and then that's it. And pictures will be at the end of the video. So I hope you guys like this and yeah. Hi guys. Okay, so that was it for the tutorial. I really hope you guys like this. Um, this is really fun to do when you're about to go out on the weekend or at the club or something. But um, I really had fun um, doing this tutorial for you guys. I really, really love my hair like this because it's not... It's very unique. It has a very unique curl to it. And that's what I like about this wand. So if you guys are questioning purchasing the wand i would really purchase it um and yeah so i really hope you guys like this tutorial and i hope it really helped on showing you how to use a wand and all that so thank you for watching and subscribe if you, if you guys haven't subscribed yet like if you liked it and comment below if you guys have any questions or requests or anything all right bye guys